Hi everyone. So you know when it comes to designing websites, uh, sometimes it can be a bit confusing what you need to start off with as you're designing your website. And this can cause you to be so overwhelmed and it can be very frustrating because at the end of the day, you need consistency when you design your website. So what I'm going to be doing today is to go through my Divi design workflow uh, every time I design a website using Divi. Okay, so the first thing I do is to first set up my color palette. Now, the reason why I need to set up my color palette is because every module or section or row that I have on my website needs to have the colors that I need as I'm designing my site. So setting your color palette first is the most important thing before you start designing your website. Now, let me show you where this goes. So over here, I have this website called Coolers. I use this to generate my uh, colors. So what I normally do is once I'm happy with the color palette that I've uh, chosen, I just copy the hexadecimal value. And then over here on my site, I'd go all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme options. So on theme options here, we have a default color palette that comes with uh, Divi. So ideally, what you want to do is to replace this default color palette with um, your colors. So in this case, you can just come over here and paste the colors one by one, go back to your color palette, choose the next color, go back, paste your second color. So you continue doing this until you've added all your colors. So now as you're designing your website, you're going to be able to access your colors as you're designing your site. Okay, so now let me show you uh, what happens when you start designing your site. So I'm just gonna come over here to uh, and add a new page. So when I click to add a new page, uh, let's say we're gonna call this design process. So for this, I'm going to build from scratch. So let me show you how you're going to be able to find your color palette every time you're designing. So if I add a single column here, and let's say I'm adding a text module. And by the way, the colors uh, can be found pretty much across all the elements on Divi. So here, if I go to design text, we can see our colors here have followed us. So every time I'm going to design any element in Divi, our color palette is going to be there. So let's say I choose this color. That's going to be my text color. Save. Now let's say I need to go to my row settings. And again, if I go to background, you can see all my colors are here. So everything is going to be consistent as I'm designing my site. Now over here on the section settings, again, we have our colors. So this is why it is important for you to set your colors first as you're designing your website. Now let's move on to the next part. Now the next part is also very important because this is what helps you design your websites really fast. So here is where you need to add your logo. So you normally your website comes with a default uh, logo, which is that D for Divi. So you want to add your own logo for your website. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to save and exit. So to add our logo, you wanna come over here to Divi, click on theme options and you can upload your logo here like that and that should be your logo for your website okay so we've added our logo the next part now is also very very important and this is what's going to allow you to design your website super fast so this is by the use of templates so to access your templates what you need to do is to in fact let's just close out of here and go to our theme builder so over here on our diagram you can see that uh, we've added our color palettes We've added our logo. Now we're going to be talking about our templates. So for the templates, you need to be able to create uh, layouts for the pages on your site. So let's say for your standard pages, you may want to have maybe a page title. This is where you create all of that in your theme builder. So over here, I have a template for all the pages. And let me just show you what it looks like. So if I come over here, you can see here that I have this part here, which is going to show the page title. We also have uh, the post uh, content here, and I have some rounded corners here on some images. So when I go to my website, you are going to be able to see this uh, when I access any page on my site. So if I go to my contact page, you can see here I have this part here, which then shows uh, the title of the page. And this applies to all the pages on my site. So uh, I know we've just designed a page called design process. So again, this is the design process page. So 
it is going to have that header and also the structure of the headings and the uh, images are all going to be consistent throughout the whole website. So let's say you are happy with that. You've uh, created your templates. And by the way, these templates are super, super easy to create. Uh, as you add more elements or more plugins on your website, you're going to have access to all these templates. So let's say uh, you have a WooCommerce website. You can also go in and create your product pages based on that template that you decide to design. And let's say you're using Learn Dash. Again, you can create some Learn Dash uh, templates to make sure that all your designs look consistent throughout the whole design. Okay, now the next part we're going to be talking about is going to be our global presets. So back over here on our site, uh, let me show you how the global presets works. So I'm going to enable the uh, visual builder here. So what I'm going to do is to create a um, button. And I want that when I create this button, every time I create a button, I am going to be able to use uh, that instance of that button. Again, saving me a lot of time as I'm designing my website. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to search for my button here. I'm now going to go ahead and design this button by coming over here to design button and activate use custom styles for button. So I am going to add my text color like that, add my background color. And I'm also going to give this a border. And uh, let's see what else we can do here. Let's make it all caps. And we're going to change this to bold or semi bold. We're also going to give this some letter spacing. There we go. And for the icon, I'm going to add this as my icon. Great. So Let's say this is the button that I, I need to uh, have mainly on my website. So what I can do here is I can cl create a global preset, which means every time I create new buttons, this button here will be available for me. So let me show you how you do that. So you come over here to the top where you have preset. So right now we're on default. So if you click on this drop down, you can create a new preset from current style. So I'm going to select this. So I'm going to say main button. Okay. And then I'm going to say yes. So now I have my main button here as a preset. I'm going to save that, save this one more time. So let's say as I'm designing my website, I create new pages and uh, whatever page it is on my website, I decide to have a button. Here's what you need to do. So I'm going to click on this plus button here, search for my button module, select it. And now you can see here we have uh, this style. But here's the thing. If I come to the top here, click on this drop down, we see here that we have the main button preset. So if I select that, there we go. My button is there. So now I've just only used two clicks and I was able to have a button that is consistent. It is all caps. It has the same color. The design is the same. So you can do this with pretty much all the modules and all the sections, all the rows on our website. So presets are very, very powerful. And this is going to enable you to design your website super fast. So the final step now is your pages and your posts. So this is where now you can combine everything that we've put together. And this is your colors, your templates, your global presets. All of that now is going to come together to create all your pages. So your, all your pages are going to have different types of layouts, but you're going to have consistent headings. Uh, paragraph text. You're also going to have buttons that are all consistent throughout because we're going to be using global presets. I know I'm using buttons here as the main example, but this also applies to all the modules on your website. All right, guys, let me know how you guys design using Divi and uh, share that in the video description below. It'd be quite interesting uh, to see how you do it. This is my way, but of course, there are many ways to design websites. I may learn a thing or two from you guys too. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.